We're watching Tropical Storm Cristobal. It was a night of severe weather with several people recording video of tornadoes near downtown Orlando. There were reports of multiple tornadoes in the area. In one of the videos, you could hear protesters demonstrating for social justice as a funnel cloud spun in the background. There were also reports of downed trees and other damage. There's no word right now on injuries. Hurricane hunters flew into the storm Saturday. Landfall is expected today in Louisiana. And Jennifer, it looks like most of the major impacts are mostly in central Florida. Uh, what, were, what are we going to be feeling here? Yeah, that's right, Francis. So most of the rain, heavy downpours, and the severe threat has been to the north and west of us. And so for us, all we're dealing with is a lot of cloud cover and very high humidity. Uh, so as far as that funnel cloud that was seen in Orlando, uh, the National Weather Service of Melbourne, Florida, did confirm that uh, yesterday that, in fact, it was a tornado. So they're going to go ahead, uh, I think sometime today, this morning, and survey if there's any damage. All right, let's get to what's happening now because I-10 corridor, it is drenched and right on the Florida Georgia line as well. There are a few strong thunderstorms that are developing quickly offshore over the northeastern Gulf waters. That's going to be an impact for the bend of Florida and then out farther west in the mouth of the Mississippi River, some drenching downpours wrapping around along those bands on the northern side of Crystal Ball. And here's a closer look of this radar and satellite. So yeah, there are pockets of heavy rainfall and always with these outer bands uh, swinging through quickly from water surface water and then onto land causes friction so it could cause some spin up and that's why there could be some, the threat of tornadoes along the Gulf Coast again today. There's definitely the threat of flooding, flood watch and warnings in effect from Central Florida, basically from Fort Myers up through Tampa, Tallahassee out into the Mississippi River in Louisiana and then up into parts of uh, Missouri as well. So how much rainfall could happen? Well, basically the highest amounts will be for southeastern Louisiana. Now, as uh, Cristobal continues to move northward, just west of the Mississippi River, rainfall amounts will uh, probably accumulate two to three inches in the next 48 hours as nor far north as Missouri. And uh, for parts of Florida, around three, one to three inches. For us, if we get any rain, it will probably be a trace or at least less than half an inch for us. Here's a look at the latest advisory of Tropical Storm Cristobal. One thing has changed, and that is the distance. It is shorter as it continues to track north at 12 miles per hour, getting closer and closer to that coastline in Louisiana, making landfall sometime this afternoon, maybe uh, right after 2 p.m. And as it continues to track farther inland northward, it is eventually going to downgrade into a depression, but it's going to move quickly and spread the rain, especially on the east side of the system. And so that's where most of the impacts lie. Back here at home, it is certainly cloudy. We could see this. Uh, thank you, Ron Wright, for setting, sending in this photo in Lardo by the sea. And you know what? That blanket of clouds is sticking around throughout today. Uh, live view out there it is gloomy now as far as rain only a few showers are pushing through the area winds are out of the south today so most of the showers are going to track from south to north they're going to be fast and light we'll be dealing with cloud cover again tomorrow maybe a few storms tomorrow afternoon but a change of the weather pattern where we see a little more sunshine and back to those summertime afternoon storms begins on tuesday